So if you have any type of mucus, okay, there's a really simple and expensive solution, whether it's pneumonia, bronchitis, sinus congestion, COPD, asthma, or even if you have a tonsillitis or a sore throat, you can apply this. And it's basically using salt. There's been a long history that goes way back to the 1700s or even a lot earlier of using certain types of salt therapy, uh, especially for your immune system. Doctors back then were recommending going to the sea, right? Breathing in that sea air. Other people recommended sea bathing. And even they've noticed uh, people working in the salt mines uh, rarely got sick. You know, when everyone else is getting sick, they seem to be pretty healthy. So what's so special about this salt uh, in relationship to uh, pathogens? Well, salt is very antimicrobial. It has antiviral properties, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-yeast, anti-mold. So whatever's growing in your sinuses or your lungs, you can take advantage of salt. And it's really good to break up thick mucus. There's many different ways you can apply this depending on how much you want to spend. I mean, the cheapest thing is to go to the coastal region where there's sea air and just, you know, be in that environment, just breathe that salt air. Another thing you can do is just take a teaspoon of sea salt, dissolve it in a glass of warm water and drink that. That actually helps as well. You can go to a salt house, which is a little more expensive. You can get a neti pot, which they normally use saline solution. You can get a nebulizer and you can gargle with salt water, right? Very effective for mucus in your throat. Now, something a little more expensive is using this halo therapy or a halo generator. Now, the term halo comes from the Greek word, which means salt, okay? So what's interesting about this um, halo generator, and I've done a video uh, just introducing people about it, it uses a dry salt, okay? It crushes just basically sodium chloride. It's not even sea salt. Because apparently when you use sea salt with this machine, it can give impurities and kind of get stuck in your lungs. So you just want to use pure, like 99.99% pure sodium chloride. It crushes it up into very small particles. And then it has a way of shooting it through the air, through your room. So as you're sleeping at night, you're breathing in these very tiny salt particles, which have super absorbing properties. It can actually go right into your skin. It's very anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and you will wake up feeling like you can breathe a lot better because it's going to thin the mucus and help reduce um, all that mucus that actually irritates the, the pathways in your respiratory system. Now, realize that uh, most of these uh, respiratory infections are viral related, so you cannot um, use an antibiotic. It's not going to work. So anything viral, you definitely just want to uh, give it a course of time, three to seven days, or even up to 10 days, and nurture your immune system. Use things without side effects. I know a lot of people with uh, small children, at the first sign of a fever, they're concerned. You know, they want to get rid of that fever. But getting rid of the fever increases the duration of the infection. So you want to let the immune system take over and just nurture it, help it. That fever is good. It's actually cooking these viruses so they can't survive. And, you know, the three common things I always recommend is vitamin D, vitamin C, and zinc. But it is normal for a child to get sick. It's part of the immune training process. It's not a bad thing. You don't want to keep your kids in a sterile environment. You want to let them be exposed to the environment so their immune system can become very, very strong. I know growing up, I had a sore throat several times a year, pretty much every year of my life growing up. Now I rarely get sick because my immune system is strong. But anyway, if you wanted a simple solution to mucus in your sinuses or your lungs, salt is the best thing to do for that. And if you haven't seen my video on the immune system in relationship to what else to take, I put that video up right here. Check it out.